in, if you or me, uh, Carlotta has turned into a really uh, efficient businesswoman and, and her career is the most important thing to her in, the, in her life. Um, and even though she's engaged to be married, um, when she bumps into somebody who was the first love of her life from when she was a child, um, it's suddenly making her re-evaluate everything she's done uh, up to now. And she's faced with, you know, her past and how she felt then as a young girl. And she's realising that she's making choices and look, um, evaluating her life now in a completely different way. You know, I think that it's sometimes we want to make the right decisions and you kind of go through lists of pros and cons about what's the right thing to do and you, you kind of try and evaluate everything you should do and sometimes, you know, we're better off just going with what our gut instinct is and, and to hell with everything. The older you are, the more experience you have and the more you're able to kind of look at choices you made in the past and think that they were mistakes. And so you think to yourself, you know, I'm better equipped to deal with my life and I'm better equipped to make uh, decisions based upon good, solid judgment. But sometimes, it doesn't matter how old you are, your heart is the most important thing. I think at some point in our lives, we all kind of look back and we think, if, if things had worked out differently, if I had made a different decision, if something had or hadn't happened, how would my life be? And a little bit of If You Were Me is about um, looking at the life you might have led and wondering uh, would it have been a better life than you're leading now? And I think we all look back in a certain, certain way with maybe regret or nostalgia um, and it's really determining whether you're, you're doing things through rose-tinted glasses or whether actually you know, looking back and you have the opportunity to do something again, whether you should really go for it. It's really different, difficult to choose um, a favourite character uh, in, in all my novels because at the time that I'm writing it, you know, the main character is my favourite character and I think um, to write a good novel you have to kind of totally be at one with the character. Um, but I like writing about people who are very different to me, so I actually really do like writing about my my girls who, who, you know, throw caution to the wind or do mad things because I try not to be too mad myself. So I really do like Carlotta, who's my most recent heroine. And the other heroine that I'm really very fond of is Isabel from Isabel's Wedding because um, she just goes through such a hard time. I like romantic heroines, but I like the romantic heroine who, who actually um, has, a, you know, is, is doing her romantic thing with um, just that little bit of realism attached to it. I don't like I don't like heroines who are just kind of really dozy and everything. I like them to be to be real people. Um, I think what drives me as an author is that I really like writing about people and I like looking at the situations that people find themselves in and wondering why different people react differently in the same situation. So, you know, in, in, in a case where maybe somebody has had a, a really bad relationship, uh, one woman cuts up her, the clothes of her husband or empties out all his bottles of wine or something and somebody else just reacts in a completely different way. So I like looking at why people do what they do. Um, and I also, each time you write a book, uh, you learn something about the experience and so each time I write a book I've learned something and I try to bring that experience into the next book and it keeps driving me on to try and write a better book every time. Um, it doesn't make me feel anything for me, but it makes me feel really proud and pleased for all the characters in my novels because I know it just probably does sound like a cliche, but they're all like family to me. So I like to think that all of those girls, everybody whose story I've written um, is, is doing well. And, and I, I love thinking that people are enjoying reading about them and sharing in their stories. Um, I do also like the idea though that, you know, um, I write my, my novels in a little room above the garage of my house in Ireland and I, it's, it's just a real thrill when I think that somebody, for example, in, in China or Sweden or Turkey is, is reading about the characters that I've created in the room above my garage.